Welcome back, everyone. It is a good day to discuss a new topic for our writing class. In this session, we will start learning the basic information of essay writing process. At the end of the session, you are expected to understand the seven steps of writing process, develop the outline based on the template given, and transform paragraphs to essay writing. Now that you have already learned the fundamentals of paragraphs, moving to essay is easy. An essay is basically just a collection of paragraphs. It can have as few as three paragraphs or as many as 10 or more paragraphs. And in this class, you will have a five paragraph essay writing. A five paragraph essay consists of the introduction, body paragraphs, and the conclusion. The basic information of a five paragraph essay can easily be expanded for any kind of essay that you need to write. Great writers are not born knowing how to write, but rather acquiring their skills through practice. These seven steps will help you write cohesive about many different topics. You can choose a topic in a couple of ways. Since writing is an expression of your thoughts and ideas, it is easier for you to write something you know well or even it is better to write something you are passionate or excited about. Choosing something you are interested in is a great way to improve your mind, discover a new hobby, or decide if you like something without even doing it. Brainstorming is the term describes the process writers use to get their ideas about a topic, and there are many ways to brainstorm. Jolting down is when you write down everything about the topic that comes to your mind. It doesn't have to be in sentence form, and you don't have to worry about grammar, spelling, or organization. In short, you just write everything. The next option is by making a cluster diagram. You can write down idea and draw a circle around it. After that, you can branch off the idea and draw lines to related ideas. Free writing is a technique in which a writer just writes whatever comes to his or her mind. The idea is to keep writing without stopping. Just keep putting words and eventually they will come back to your topic. This is actually a great brainstorming technique to use when you are having trouble coming up with ideas. Take a look at the example for a cluster diagram technique. For an essay about horror movies, a cluster diagram might look like this one. After you have brainstormed the ideas for an essay, it is important to be very sure of the purpose of the essay. A common error is that the writer gets off topic. This often happens because the writer was not clear about the purpose of the essay or did not stay focused on the purpose of the essay. In organizing ideas, you can choose whether you are going to write it in a chronological order that is based on the order of events as they occur in time, or in special order that is based on what you see or the logical order, or the last option is to write it in order of importance that is based on the least important idea or the opposite order. No two writers approach in writing assignment the same way. Some writers begin with the introduction and proceed from paragraph to paragraph. So, just choose the order that is easiest for you. One of the best ways to improve any piece of writing is to ask a peer to review it and offer suggestions. For example, is there any part of the writing that is not clear? Is there an idea that is not explained completely enough? Perhaps your peer editor will give you brilliant suggestions to improve your writing. Every writer revises a first draft. It is important to read and check again what you have written. If you are not so sure about how to revise a certain part, do not be afraid to ask another student or teacher for help. Because good writing is never accomplished on the first try, it is important to edit your writing and make changes to enhance the essay. You can use a simple technique to improve the quality and clarity of your writing. 
adding connecting and transition words, phrases, or sentences. Definitely, it will be helpful for your writing improvement in terms of clarity, even the relationship between ideas, the flow of the essay, and also the connection between paragraphs. Remember that transitions can be as small as one word when used at the beginning, middle, or end of a sentence. You can use transitional words in sentences to perform the following functions. Use the following checklist to review your final draft. Use all feedback you have received. When you finish, add a title to your essay. You can also use the following template in developing your outline. The outline sample is based on the reading text you have from Meeting 5, Prisoner at Work. Use this to help your first outline making. Well, you have learned all the essential discussion on the essay writing process. Before developing your essay, let's start with developing your own outline first. Although the topic is already provided, if you can find one interesting topic of your own, just consult it so you can start making your own outline. Once your outline is complete and ready, you can write your first essay. So, happy learning everyone!